with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. You know, we don't actually keep track of wind chill records like we keep track of temperature records, but if we did keep track of wind chill records, I have a feeling we'd be getting close in spots. I can't remember the last time I've seen such a widespread swath of brutally cold wind chills. Let's check out some of those numbers, and you will notice most of us are actually in the negative 20s right now. Negative 20 in Providence, negative 25 in Smithfield, negative 17 in Taunton, negative 21 in Newport, and 15 below in Westerly for a feel like temperature almost. 20 below zero for a feel like temperature on Block Island. So obviously you want to bundle up and maybe just avoid heading outside if you can this morning because this afternoon actually gets a little bit better. We'll talk about why in just a second, but still pretty gusty out there this morning in spots 23 miles an hour for a recent wind gust in Providence, 28 in Newport and 24 on Block Island. Sustained winds right now between about 10 and 20 miles an hour with a recent breeze here of 17 miles an hour in Newport. And obviously when you have those temperatures at or below zero, those breezes don't feel so comfortable. At least it's a nice looking view in Newport. We have the sun coming up and a pretty nice sunrise here at the city by the sea and in the capital city. Good visibility looks cold out there though. You can see a lot of that snow still on the ground with a recent uh, feel like temperature of negative 20 in Providence. The actual temperature at negative two breaking that record of negative one degree. So on live pinpoint Doppler 12 not seeing a whole lot. We'll be on the lookout for some of these ocean effect snow showers out across Cape Cod. That's one of the reasons you're seeing some of these clouds kind of hanging tough there across the outer Cape. For the rest of us we are left with clear skies and we track our next weather maker. That one is right here. You can see the system zipping across just north of the Great Lakes and a couple little features in the atmosphere today will help relax those winds. One of them being the center of high pressure, which has been really driving those winds in from the northwest. That relaxes its grip a little bit today. So that's why even though these winds are still there, they're a little bit later this afternoon. And then this weather feature doesn't amount to a whole lot. I think tomorrow morning is dry for the drive to work for the morning commute. And then as we go into the afternoon and evening, the chance of some light rain or snow showers. This is around 730 in the evening where some light snow or rain is possible. Even the potential of some freezing rain. So definitely stay tuned to TJ tonight. Michelle tomorrow morning and then Tony tomorrow evening as there may be some slick spots for the evening commute. Again, a coating to a half an inch at most, not expecting much accumulation from this little system. And then by Tuesday early morning, this should be out of here and we are left with some breezes coming in from the southwest. It will be a little colder on Tuesday behind that system, but we'll talk about those temperatures in just a minute because I think some welcome changes ahead if you do not like these brutally cold temperatures. Speaking of temperatures, well, they stay in the single digits for most of this morning, but by noontime up to 15, 18 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And again, here's the key difference. Some gusts of around 20 at 9 o'clock this morning by 3 o'clock in the afternoon winds around 5 to 10 miles an hour. So that feels a little bit better. And we can look at that in terms of wind chills. 10 o'clock this morning still feeling like negative 6 in Westerly, negative 7 in New Bedford. But by 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon, most, if not all of us, above zero for wind chills. We'll take it. Now, it still means it's going to be a cold Monday morning and cold tonight. You can see Monday, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. We're looking at wind chills around 10 degrees in Providence and then these wind chills up around 30 by Monday afternoon. So when we finally can get those wind chills above zero and then into the teens, 20s and 30s, we know we're doing a little bit better temperature wise. So there is a light snow and rain chance for tomorrow evening. Behind that, it's a little cool, colder on Tuesday morning, 38 by Tuesday afternoon. And then notice we actually have some 30s, even 40s in the seven day future cast and then low 50s potentially by Friday. Right now, this would be rain and not snow showers, but stay tuned for any changes there. Obviously, when we're this many days out, sometimes we can have little changes occur in terms of precipitation type and temperature. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website at WPRI.com.